Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is the first day of 2021 for the St. Piran cycling team. So we're all gathered down here in our COVID compliant little bubble. We've all had to complete a test to prove that none of us are actually carrying COVID or have had it recently. And we're not likely to pass it on to everyone, which means that the 11 of us that are here can go out, ride on the roads of Cornwall, do a few drills together. We have, I'll introduce you to everyone throughout the day. We have um, all the riders here, apart from the guys from the Isle of Man, because they're not allowed to travel. We have Liam Hollihan, our director sportif, and an uh, expert rider that I used to race against. Steve's here, Tristan's here. Matt Ellis is currently holding the camera. Thank you, Matt. Hi. Hi. Uh, Ewan, uh, Ewan Evans, Joe Evans, not related. Ollie Maxwell, Ross Holland, Jensen Young. Uh, Bradley Simmons, who else am I forgetting? Uh, James Ryan here, the mechanic. Stephen Bradbury. He's over there, you can't see him. Oh, we've got every time. Steve's here as well. So yeah, everyone's here. We're gonna go and ride our bikes and you'll see updates from us throughout the day. I'm gonna be wincing a little bit because I've hurt my rib. Excuses in early. I've done this before. It's just uh, I was showing Brad. <laughs> Hi, Jay. Hi. Liam, why are we on flag hunt? To see the wind direction, because when riding on the flat, it's the biggest force that you have to overcome. With the wind now, think about where the shelter is and think about where your teammates are going to get the benefit. Maybe you start doing it. You're going to go more towards the middle of the road, aren't you? I've ridden a race bike and race wheels a long time, so but feels nice. In the stop, and uh, what we've got, uh, we've got Liam, a uh, new DS for uh, St. Perrin this year. Talk the riders through, some basic instructions, and it's always great to go back to basics. When you're riding behind a car, it's so much easier than being in a bunch. Like, don't panic at all, you know, take your time. Because if anything, you can have a bit of a rest, you know, behind, behind the car. Or, you know, take your time, use that to your advantage. That, that rest is way easier. And then when you're looking as well behind the car, you're looking through the rear window where the driver's looking. Like you're not looking like down like where your wheel is. You're looking through the car ahead. So you can see what's coming up and react to whatever. Again, it's all about getting used to being back on the bikes, in groups, close to vehicles, 
because of half and happens in races. Things are going wrong. Just getting comfortable being around each other, getting to know each other. Basically, the essentials of building a team. So far, so good. Well, they do need new bumper. We are going to run some puncture simulations so that when the riders have to face that challenge in a race, they are familiar with the protocol and how to get back on. That's, that's quite interesting. So why don't we just let that happen uh, in a race? Why, why do we need to practice it uh, beforehand? What, you know, what, what, what's critical? What are we going to look out for? We're doing it because we don't want the first time when we do it um, to be when it matters. So. Yeah, I guess because that's the riders at the side of the road, and he's got to get back to the, he's got to get back to the bunch. And I guess that's quite an effort, really. I mean, how how hard is it to get back when the bunch has already moved? Really? It depends how good you are doing this very skill. So um, that's exactly why we're doing it. You know, what, what what's the weekend all about, really? What you know, what, what's it all about? I think number one, it's about the riders bonding and getting to know each other. Because uh, with the obvious restrictions, that's not really being possible. Um, so that's probably number one. Uh, second of all, there's obviously training, and in this case, a skills benefit to the weekend. So we will practice some you know, specifics that the riders maybe can't do at home on their own, as opposed to you know the physiological conditioning. So we're doing some of that as well. Um, so yeah, I guess it's kind of killing two birds with one stone. There's quite a diverse group of riders here. Um, so obviously, some of the more established riders uh, they're not afraid to speak their mind and uh, speak up and uh, you know it is those younger maybe quieter riders that uh, need that support who won't necessarily speak up and reach out you know you have to make the effort with them and go speak to them because uh, it can be quite intimidating for them. So he's practicing his puncture now. Okay, so we have a puncher and James springs into action with Joe. What's he doing? Is he on a bit of an easy time or...? Uh... <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he should be. He, should, he shouldn't panic. Uh, that's one of the key things that we wanted to do. He should use... Uh, the car to his advantage now to to get back on to the group. And there he is back in the uh, that was really good. back in the bunch. Yeah, nice, nice and smooth. Well done, Joe. That was spot on. We are doing lead out practice. Okay. So to find lead out. To find a lead out. The idea is to get the sprinter into a position uh, where he can do his job effectively. So I guess the lead out are providing some speed and some shelter, I guess, in essence. Absolutely that, yeah. To uh, kind of a launch pad for the sprinter to, uh, to do his thing and hopefully propel him to victory. So, Jensen, how was it? So, Look at that smile. I nearly didn't get a fast Chris's lead out there. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't like a tough one being a lead out. Yeah, and just knowing when you're like 
No, mate. Terrible. Oh, yeah, the first one was terrible. Bradbury took me a tenner to drop you out of the race. That's that. Cheers, Bradbury. Jensen reckons he's not good on video, so we'll ask him for his opinion on the ride first. How was it, Jensen? Fairly hard, yeah. Did you get dropped? No, not no. today. Did you let the wheel go? Um, no. No. Who let the wheel go today? You. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> I didn't realise I did. I know Ollie did. A healthy Brad. Yeah, eating an apple. As healthy as it gets. <laughs> Come on, and then Matt Ellis. What do you want me to say? <laughs> what, what do you want to say? I don't know. Watch Honestly. my YouTube videos. Yeah, watch watch my YouTube videos. And okay. Chris is obviously, yeah. <laughs> put the link in description. Well, I think yeah. I can put the link on the screen. Can you? Go on, say click up here. Click up here. <laughs> Come on, brothers. What's your opinion on the ride? As you're the third oldest in the team, aren't you? I am the third oldest. Go on. What and was the it? third least hair, maybe. Oh, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. Who else is bald? Um, <laughs> no, it's good. Windy, good. Sprints. It was windy, wasn't it? Sprints were done. The sprints weren't much fun, were they? They were hard, to be fair. It was a lot quicker than I wanted to go. Yeah, doing that, doing the sprints. I found the, the weirdest thing was trying to pedal fast and pedal hard at the same time with no, <clears throat> like there was no coordination in the legs. No. It's like that when you go hard for the first time a year in the year, though, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Bradley does a lot of. Bradley, not Bradley. Stephen Bradders does a lot of fixed racing. I do fixed racing. I like to pedal quick. Tracks like this. Pedal quickly. Actually, Lampier commented on your pedaling, didn't they? He said it was soft but looked good. <laughs> That's what he said. Ah, <laughs> oh, just uh, I think it's brown bread. Definitely brown bread. Oh, Jamie, ulti it, ultimate Jamie combo, Oliver mate. Special. Ultimate Should combo. I read it, though? Let me in. Malt. <laughs> Molten. It's a bit dry, isn't it? No, I haven't oh, tasted oh, it yet. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be dry. It was. Oh, I couldn't <laughs> find them. I'm um, good. It's because I'm wearing them. <laughs> yeah, no, not bad. I feel a bit sick. I ate way too much food. So, yeah. I had three... You did a lot better than the last time we saw you. I know, but three eggs, toast, like a big sl slice of cake, a muffin. Is that um, healthy? Yeah, I was meant to bring one down for you, but I left it at home. I'll oh, bring it tomorrow. And then, um, what's that? I've pretty much a whole thing of jelly babies. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I ate quite a lot. <laughs> it was a good fun day. I can't quite put into words how good it is to ride sit on the back of a group for the first time in ages. At the moment, we have no idea what the race program's looking at. All we can do is remain hopeful and keep training. There will be some off-road racing and some time trials whilst the road racing is still a little bit up in the air. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. There'll be more of this type of video coming along throughout the year.